Hello, hello everyone. My name is Paul Bauer. I am a realtor here in Lincoln and Omaha areas. And this is another Bowtie Business Spotlight. And today with me, I have Hannah Schinkel and she is the owner of Beloved, a boutique. So how are you doing today, Hannah? I'm doing great. How now, are you, you, Paul? I mean, I'm doing wonderful. I'm inside. And I know with Alexis last week, I talked about the 17 feet of snow today. <laughs> It's like the 50 mile per hour wind. So Nebraska is always a beautiful place. Yes, yes, it's, it's lovely out there. <laughs> <laughs> we should, we'll just go with that with, yeah. while laughing. Yes. So um, first question that I have for you is uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and your business. Yeah, I would love to. Um, well, like Paul said, my name is Hannah Schinkel. I was born and raised here in Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, I am a Thunderbolt, graduated from Pius, and went to the university here in Lincoln. Um, and yeah, I studied uh, fashion design at the university. So that is kind of where my, um, my love of fashion and um, beauty really began. I have wanted to be a fashion designer since I was 10. So um, Beloved was kind of always a dream of mine um, to do. So after, after graduating, I was a, a missionary for three years with a um, campus ministry. And that was kind of where the idea for Beloved started. Um, cool. And Beloved just opened back in May of 2020. So awesome. Another 2020 start. That's Great to see you're still going and everything like that. Yeah. So leading into kind of the second, how did you get into this business? You just kind of shared, um, you know, you came up with the idea and everything like that and the missionary work and everything. But as far as obviously what you make, you know, things like that, how did you come up with that? Yeah, I, so like I said, I've loved fashion um, since I was 10. I always knew that I wanted to be in the fashion industry. And ever since I was a little girl, I wanted to own my own store. And so cool. um, when I was in school, I thought that that meant, you know, going to New York City or LA and being in the fashion industry. Um, but yeah, God had a different plan for me and I became a missionary instead. And it was, um, I served in Illinois and Michigan for, for yeah. that ministry. Um, and it was just kind of there that, I realized I can have both, um, you know, be a missionary and um, living out my faith while also living out my love of fashion and beauty. And so, um, yeah, it just kind of came on my heart to start a boutique that um, really focuses on the, the customer's beauty and hopefully leading them to um, kind of discover a deeper faith in themselves. So um, back in May, I started just selling jewelry and handmade rosaries. Um, and I worked at a shop here in Lincoln called Euphoria for four yeah. years in college, um, which is where I get all my beads and awesome. um, learned, learned everything that I know from Carissa there. And so um, started out with jewelry and now I'm slowly getting into clothing. So that's kind of how the dream started. That's awesome. That's a great story that you can literally kind of combine everything. And like we talked about off screen, you know, combining, it's really awesome to see somebody be able to literally turn something that they're passionate and about and something that they love literally into their job. I know probably every person out there would, you know, love to find that same thing. So that's great that you did find it. So what we're going to do now is Hannah is actually going to share her screen and it's going to be her website. And she's just going to take us through it a little bit. And one question that I will have while she's doing this is if there is a piece of jewelry or something that she's made that was that has been kind of her favorite to do and kind of explain why. So all yours, yeah. Hannah. Cool, thanks Paul. Well, this is my website. Um, yeah, I the tagline, nothing here will make you more beautiful than you are in this moment is something that was kind of on my heart from the beginning. I, want, I don't want somebody to come into 
my store or come to my website and feel like anything here will change who they are. Um, and so just knowing their beauty inherently is what I want to aim for. So um, I'll just kind of go through each of the tabs. Um, this is kind of the story that I explained to you guys. Um, the image uh, is of my first pop-up shop that I had actually out in Malcolm at one of my um, friends art studios that was created from a grain silo. So that was pretty fun. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a great time. And then I think um, to answer your question, what is my favorite thing to make are definitely the rosaries. Um, I have full rosaries that have all um, five decades. And then I also just have like little one decade ones that you can kind of keep in your pocket. Um, and I think one of my favorite things to make is these custom rosaries. So I've had people um, that either wanted a rosary for their spouse or for their dad for Christmas. And I've also done a few baptism rosaries with the day of the baptism in, in one of the decades. So I just love this because I get to work directly with somebody who um, has a, a heart for, um, the person that they're making it for and we can kind of create it together so i think yeah. the custom made rosaries are are probably my favorite bring their creation to life that's that's yeah. always something that people always want yeah exactly yeah so the clothing um like i said i'm getting more um i'm launching my spring collection this weekend at the oh, cool. um focus conference here at nebraska and and then online on Sunday. So if there's not much on the clothing tab, so I'll just go over to um, the jewelry. So I kind of categorize it into three different um, sections. Earth, the earthen is um, just kind of the metal and earth tones. Moonlight is the blues and whites. And then sunrise is kind of the more um, orange and warm colors. So I, like I said, I get all my beads from um, Euphoria here in Lincoln and um, getting to work with them. They just have really great quality stuff. So that is um, a little look at my jewelry. And then I also started um, oh, having keychains, um, just kind of little little ones that have little messages on them. I don't make these. I get these from a company down in Texas okay. called Dear Heart Company. Um, and then also some just prayer journals and stickers, um, you know, that people can put on their water bottles and that and whatnot. So yeah, that's kind of, um, that's my website. And um, like I said, I think the, my favorite thing is the custom rosary. Um, and there will be more clothing up um, probably when this video launches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's awesome. I mean, it is, you know, it's a beautiful website and all the, you know, colors and everything like that with that white background, like they really do pop. So mm -hmm. I really do like the simplicity of it because you really, there's not really a whole lot that you could hide with when you have a white background. And so you're really showcasing, you know, and, to me, whenever I see something like that, you really do see that it is somebody that is really proud of what they do. And it's not, you know, just one piece, it's all of them because there's nothing really that can be hidden, you know, when you have a simple website. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, that that's kind of the first thing that I saw. Like I saw a lot of your jewelry and, you know, rosaries here and there on your Instagram because that's how we mm -hmm. connected. Yeah. Uh, and so um, it makes sense, you know, my kind of lead in question obviously now is you know who is your you know main you know support team or companies you work with it makes sense now that you get those um beads and everything like that from euphoria because they are beautiful um mm -hmm. they they really do kind of stick out when you you know combine them you know with the metals and things like that so who are kind of your support team and you know places that you do business with yeah i think um definitely euphoria is the one that i um they are really gracious to me and um, 
yeah, when I do big orders with them. <laughs> so just getting to, they're a mom and pop shop here in Lincoln and getting to um, really just know the story behind where they got them is something that I love. Um, I also have really been grateful for um, Bobby Bevins over at the Harbor Coffee House. Oh, yeah. I had um, my second pop-up um, that was in December over there and he is kind of like you just very much loves small businesses and wants to help out in whatever way he can. So um, we've partnered together to do a couple more pop-ups um, this spring over there. So I'm really excited to, um, they have great coffee. <laughs> I just got the blueberry That's crumble good. coffee um, to brew here at home. And That's a coffee? Uh, yeah. It's a coffee. It's, I thought you were about to say like a muffin or something like that. Blueberry yeah. crumble coffee. Yes. Wow. Highly Sounds recommend. Really <laughs> yeah. Highly, highly recommend. So yeah. Um, and then my support team, um, my family are, have always had my back. They, I, I think about my, me telling my parents that I wanted to study fashion design and probably in their heads thinking she's going to go nowhere with that. <laughs> Nebraska raised. And yeah. Nebra the being area. in Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm just so grateful for them. They have um, just always had my back and always been willing to um, do some of the grunt work that is required for um, whether it's building something that I need. My dad has done that for me and I definitely get my creative genes from both of them. So um, yeah, my family. And then I have a couple of friends um, who I joke are my first employees, but don't actually get paid. <laughs> they okay. just do it out of the graciousness of their heart. <laughs> um, Those are really good friends then. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they are. I have a lot of them. So awesome. um, yeah, I definitely don't think that I could do it without my family and friends and everybody in the Lincoln community is just so good about rallying behind small business owners and supporting small businesses and really going above and beyond to um, shop local before, you know, shopping on Amazon or other um, big, big sites. And so I'm just really appreciative for the Lincoln community as well. Yeah. Yeah, it is awesome. And I mean, I'll probably say this obviously with every video, but I mean, that's, that's basically what this is, you know, when it, when it comes to Lincoln, that's who we want to, you know, try and support as much as we possibly can first is the small businesses. And I think one of the main reasons why it might be easier to do that, you know, kind of in the Lincoln community and like Omaha's there as well is there are so many people that know these small businesses because, mm -hmm. you know, Lincoln, it's, it, you know, kind of jokes, people joke around with it, you know, that's a big, small town. Um, but how many times, you know, do you meet somebody that just through one connection, you literally know probably almost every person, you know, in a town, I mean, in a city, and, you know, you just can't say that to a lot of places. And so I think that's what Lincoln and Omaha has is you have so many of these first person connections that are helping, you know, these small businesses, because I think, you know, during COVID, we've been, you know, pretty blessed where, there hasn't been a crazy amount of closings like there have been in other states. And I, I, it comes back to the people, you know, yeah. that's, that's yes. one of the best things about it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I even think of Rutabaga's um, restaurant opening last March, right in the beginning of the pandemic and they're still going strong. So I think that just goes to show that Lincoln is just a great community to have a small business in. Yeah, definitely. So last thing, and then we'll kind of wrap it up. Um, is there anything that you're, you know, looking forward to this year? Any, you know, big plans or anything? I know you kind of mentioned, you know, you're going to be launching a, launching a clothing line here this coming weekend. Um, or like anything, you know, when it comes to Lincoln that you're looking forward to? Yeah, I think um, I have been working kind of behind the scenes on a couple different um, clothing collections. Um, and so I'm really excited to launch those um, this weekend. And then again, in March, I have another um, collection that'll be launching then. And so I think I'm just really excited to, um, I love having pop-ups. I don't have a storefront right now, um, yeah. which is probably best, <laughs> but um, I think that would be definitely a dream of mine to be able to move into a storefront um, in the next year. But I think, um, in the meantime, just doing pop-ups at the Harbor 
and um, just getting to meet people and have some good coffee. Um, and actually, I'm such a visual person. So when I'm shopping, I want to see and touch and feel everything and see it in person. So I want my um, customers to be able to do that as well. So um, yeah, I think those pop-ups are something that I'm really looking forward to. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, he and I definitely appreciate you doing this. Uh, I, I think a lot of people are going to find, you know, a lot of love in what you do and your website and things along those lines. And I wish you the best this weekend with the okay. clothing line launching and everything. That's always really exciting. Um, but with that, uh, I will say thank you very much for doing this. And it is another bow tie business spotlight. And thank you very much, Anna. Thanks, Paul.